Now, let us derive a relationship between the polarization and surface charge density. For that, let us consider a dielectric slab, a rectangular dielectric slab like this. Initially, let us take the case the external electric field is zero. That is, no field is applied. In that case, the molecules will be like this. That is, the positive, the center of mass of the positive charge coincides with center of mass of the negative charge. So that the dipole moment of the individual molecule itself is zero. Let us consider six, six such molecules like this. For convenience, there are as many as molecules, sorry, there are so many number of molecules, but for, for our convenience, let's take six molecules only. Now, what will happen if you apply an external field? Suppose, in the second case, the same slab, if I apply an external field that is from the left to right, an electric field is always directed from positive charge to the negative charge. Clear? Let me separate this. This is, this is the case 1 and this is the case 2. In the second case, I am applying an external field. So, what will happen to this molecule is, see, in the absence of external field, the molecule will be like this. Positive charge coincides with negative charge. But when you apply an electric field, that is here it is positive, here it is negative, like this, the molecule will split like this, clear, that is this same molecule will split like this, that is the negative charge comes to the, comes closer to the positive charge and the positive charge comes closer to the negative charge. So the, there is a displacement for this these charges. Let me erase this. Now the molecules will be arranged in here like this. See, that is negative charge, negative charge in here and positive charge in here. Let me draw all the molecules. For convenience, we are taking only six molecules. So here it is negative, here it is positive, here it is negative, here it is positive. Similarly, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative, positive. If I consider now, if I consider a imaginary box like this, a rectangular box like this, and what you can see inside this box is this positive charge will get cancelled by this negative charge. Similarly, this positive charge also will get cancelled by this negative charge. Same as the case here also. So, inside this box, the net charge will be zero. So that you can erase this one. There will be no charge inside this rectangular box. Now you can see, I am drawing this again here, this box, this dielectric slab. What you can see is there is a net negative charge on the extreme left end and a net positive charge on the extreme right end. And you can call this as minus Q and you can call this as plus Q because they are equal and opposite. No charges inside here. Okay, here left uh, net charge is zero. And you know, these two charges are separated by the distance d, distance d which is almost equal to or equal to the thickness of the slab. So that we have the net, the net dipole moment, let's represent dipole moment using the letter m, net dipole moment developed equal to we have dipole moment is equal to one of the charge into distance between the charges that is q into d that is dipole moment m equal to q times d q into d let's call this as equation number one you know this is a slab it has a volume like this so this is the cross-sectional area a see this is a slab 
like this with the cross sectional area this one so the volume of the slab will be volume of the slab i mean the dielectric slab is equal to area area into thickness a into b it's a rectangular block okay now by the definition of polarization we have polarization polarization let's represent that using letter p is equal to net dipole moment developed per unit volume that is net dipole moment divided by volume so that this will be net dipole moment equal to q into d divided by volume is equal to a into d you can cancel this d so polarization p is equal to this is equal to q divided by a but you know what is charge per unit area that is surface charge density equal to sigma so that polarization is equal to surface charge density sigma represents the or you can say induced induced surface charge density okay so p equal to sigma induced to surface charge density so that's the relationship between polarization and surface charge density or in other words induced to surface charge density 